Well, it's been a while since I actually did one of these video logs. So, I guess I'll just, you know, start up one, you know, again. First of all, you may notice a little different change of camera angle in my room. Well, that's because I actually finally found out a place to set up my camera at that's permanent. Well, my computer, I meant to say. Okay? So, you know, I had this desk in my bedroom, you know, for so long, you know, you know, I never used it, you know, for so many years, though, you know, and I just thought, you know what, why not use it? So, I just go ahead and, you know, I used to set this computer, this laptop over there on that chair over there, you know, but I always had to knee down to it when they, every time I charge or something like that, though, but, but then I saw this here, you know, I'm like, you know what, let's screw all my stuff. Stuff, you know, let's just, let's just clean out my room a bit, you know, and, like, organize a place where I can actually have a satellite location for my computer, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to, what to call it, though, but, so here I am, you know, sitting in my desk now, my new computer desk. I mean, it's not really new, though, because I had it for, like, I don't know, five years or something like that. But, hey, 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 it makes it useful, you know? I mean, seriously, it does. And like, I mean, like, it's, 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 it's perfect, you know? I mean, I got the stuff here, I got the place to sit down, you know? I can type down, you know? I have a chair I can sit in. I mean, that's a lawn chair, though, you know? It's just a temporary chair, you know? Makeshift office chair. It's basically a lawn chair. Yeah, I already told you that, though, but, but I, until I can actually get my own office chair, you know? Or computer desk chair, you know, I'll use this for now. But hey, here I am. You can see even better wide angle in my room, although I'm not really a big fan of it because it's such a mess right now, though. Excuse me for my bed being all made messy and stuff like that, though. It's just I'm in a really deep state of depression right now. I'm trying to change my life around a bit. And like, you know, I got some stuff like that. I'm still working on cleaning up my room, though, but it's going to be a long, painful process, you know, just to get everything organized and stuff, you know, because, like, you know, I'm a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, though, but I kind of am, though. I mean, I come up with these ideals, you know, a whole bunch of stuff, you know. I just got done uploading a video to, uh, the computer and stuff like that, you know, to YouTube, and, uh, and, uh, I don't really know. I'm just kind of just sitting here at my desk. You want to see something cool? Let me see this. Look. Look, it's levitating. Ooh. Look at that. It's magic. I'm sorry, I'm being a little random right here. It's a the Fujizi ball, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the hell it's called, you know. It's a little prop there, you know. It'd be a little nice little knickknack on my desk. I got this uh, stress football, courtesy of the U.S. Air Force. Whatever it's called, I don't know, you know. Here's a I don't really use this thing that much, though, but... <laughs> yes, I'm a collector of Furbies. And I know, you know, they can be scary, but this one no longer works, though. It's a gizmo Furby. This is actually a collector's item, you know? It's a gizmo, you know, Furby, you know? You know what I mean? Heh, <laughs> kind of cute, though. Ugh. Okay, I'll just put that back up there. The Bionico thingy. I don't know what the hell this this character's name is, though, but I'm just randomly just picking up shit. I don't know. Got a uh Fanta, Fanta bottle glass bottle here, you know, kind of retro throwback, and 
got a stereo right underneath here. I still got to dust off, though. You know, I mean, I dust off this desk and stuff like that, though. But, hey, it works. I mean, well, Thursday, a couple days ago, you know, it was currently uh, two quarter after 2 a.m. But Thursday, I was supposed to go to a uh, Monroeville Mall again. Or Monroeville, actually. Found out that there's actually one Monroeville in the United States, so just one, and that's the one in off right outside of the city of Pittsburgh. Sort of like how there's only one Pittsburgh in the United States, so as in Pittsburgh, as in with an H at the end of it. Apparently, it wasn't always like that, though. They just named it Pittsburgh. You know, they was you know P I T T S B U R G. And then sometime later on, they added in a uh, the H, so it made it kind of stand out of the rest. So that's why I pretty much put on my videos of Pittsburgh, you know, just Pittsburgh, you know, not PA, you know, just Pittsburgh, you know, because it's just one of those things. I don't know. No. Let's see, okay, just, as you can see, I'm stuck with a dumb phone. The safe light, you know, safe link track phone. Still gets the job done, you know, I wish I could have, like, a smartphone that could actually take pictures and video and stuff, though, so I could upload shit through Facebook. Excuse my language. You get what I mean. But, anyway, you know, I'm just, just sitting here, just relaxing, you know, just, Enjoying my time here, you know, just a little messed up though because I had to clean up a bit though. I'm a little dusty, you know, it's... but hey, but hey, it's got to do dust rag. Just dust this off with. I'm also going to try to put in a eel. Eel. Now these these headphones, I don't even think still work though. These earbuds, I don't even think still work. And here's a uh, another football hacky sack football right here. I got a whole bunch of shit on this desk right here. Got a rubber eraser. Still seems like it's still good. Still somewhat good. I'm a little messy. I gotta change my clothes, you know, after I'm done with this, you know, so then I gotta get to bed also. But anyway, you, you get what I mean, though, you know? I mean, you know, I got a whole bunch of stuff, you know? I mean... I think this makes a great, great place for my computer. Matter of fact, that's what this desk was designed for. It was designed for a freaking computer. So I thought, why not put my computer on it, you know? Use it as a satellite location or something like that though whatever, whatever you want to call it though permanent location you know so every time when i you know <laughs> when i get off you know when i get off to work or something like that though i mean this is portable you know a laptop you know portable though although i hate windows vista now you know because like this thing always keeps on crashing and stuff on me don't we all hate windows vista I mean, the only thing I only liked, the only one thing I really liked about Windows Vista was the arrow theme, you know, and like, you know, the, you know, how, you know, they had those cascade windows that were like 3D and stuff, though, they went down. That was so cool, though. I mean, they did that on Windows 7 for a couple years, though, and then they just stopped doing it. I mean, I miss that. I mean, seriously. I mean, I like the design of Windows Vista, though. It's just the computer and stuff like that, though. It's just the operating system sucks, though. The design's nice, but the operating system sucks. Which is why I'm hoping of getting a Windows 10 computer. I mean, well, a computer with Windows 10 on it. They'll probably end up being one with Windows 8.1, but I'll have a free upgrade to Windows 10. That's if they don't cancel the free upgrades around income tax time next year. Or whenever I get, you know, paid well enough money, I'll upgrade this computer to a better one. Think about getting a Surface Pro. Or just a surface. I don't know. But 
Jared keeps on telling me I should get a MacBook. I don't know. But, I mean, MacBooks are kind of expensive, though, you know? Although I heard, you know, I could probably get one at Best Buy for a couple 938 bucks, though, but that's nearly a grand, you know? As compared to a, uh, as compared to one of these computers, you know, it probably just cost only $500 and stuff like that, though, you know? I mean, seriously, it does. And, I don't know what, I don't know what to say, you know? I'm just... I haven't really uploaded, haven't really found any interesting elevators lately, or haven't been going any places. Oh yeah, and Macy's in downtown Pittsburgh is no longer open. Very sad. Sad day it is, because it just closed yesterday, officially, as the keys were handed over to the new owners of the building. I'm hoping I can get those elevator parts, you know, they're for the elevators and stuff like the Otis is. Fingers crossed? Especially that call station, because that call station is, like, custom. There's, like, at least 12 or 13 of them in the place. Because I gotta have that call station, you know what I mean? You know, I'm gonna try to give it to each and every one, though. But I think Andrew deserves the one that's on the 12th floor, because that's one. Because that's just the only one that goes down, though. But uh, the call station, I gotta have that call station, because it's, like, custom and stuff like that, though. You know I mean? Seriously. Let's see if I can... I don't know if I can upload it here though you know but never mind I'm not gonna bother with it though I mean that I, I gotta have those elevator parts so shame though it's my most favorite department store and they had to shut it down although I actually heard they're gonna preserve some of the stuff in it though from what I heard the first floor is going to be probably a museum <coughs> excuse me a museum dedicated to Kaufman's Second and third floor might be retail. Fourth through sixth floor probably be a hotel. And then seventh through thirteen is going to be apartments or residence. Residential. I don't know. I don't know how it goes though, you know, but I don't know, but it is what it is. Probably the first floor might be outside retail, although they might have tribute to the Macy's Kaufman store in downtown Pittsburgh. I had I had a lot of fun me fun memories of that store, you know, back then, you know, and like, you know, I mean, I haven't been there that much though. Well, except for this year, that was like this year was the year I spent the most time at that store. Me and Patrick, like seriously, it was me and Patrick. Patrick Nez, that is, we like spent the most time at that store, you know, so much, you know, and just. I don't know, it's just one of those things. You know... The more I think about it, one Oxford Center was actually the mall to Macy's in downtown Pittsburgh. I mean, Macy's was the anchor of one Oxford Center's atrium, you know, the atrium shops. Which is like a mini mall in the one Oxford Center building, you know? I mean, it's, it's like a, uh, it's the anchor store, and now it's gone. Then again, Fifth Avenue Place used to have an anchor store ca called Horns, but then they took, but then they got rid of it. What am I hearing? Ah, well, this is nothing. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, is I know, is I jaw crooked? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I do hope to go back to Monroeville next week. Because, like, you know, I would really like to get those videos of the elevators at the uh, former Ramadan, Ramadan Hotel, which is now the Double Tree by Hilton, down there. Because, like, it's actually on the mall's grounds and stuff like that. Though. Plus, I also like to check out that new Victoria's Secret store and the new Air Postel store they just opened in the place. I mean, they just remodeled Victoria's Secrets and expanded it, extended it. I just want to see how it looks like, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, quirky. Sorry. Oh, yeah, and... The thing is... I don't know how long 
long this video has been going on for though but but anyway I think I pretty much talked enough though so I guess that'll be it and good night oh wait one more thing one more thing another thing one more thing when I go down to Monroeville next week I want to try to get those elevators at the Hampton. Although I think they're probably Dover Impulse knowing that place, you know? <laughs> no, nothing really special. Was it their Dover Classic? But hey, if you know what I mean, no, that would be great. And also, I also like to get the, uh... I wonder if... There's also, I also found out that there was actually an enclosed, that there was actually a parking garage on the Monroeville Mall grounds, you know, that's part of the mall. I mean, it's part of the former Expo Mart, which might have been actually originally the convention center before they moved over to that furniture place, you know, which was, I think, for coffins? I don't know. But, but you get what I mean, you know. So anyway, I guess then I'll be good night, so good night.